everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Border City Rock Talk. You get great news, great interviews, great interviewees with sometimes a comedic touch. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment below. Before further ado, I bring to you Rosa. How do you pronounce it? Lorenzo. I'll give you I'll give you three tries. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go with um Because okay. it's it's obviously Italian. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, okay. Want to try one more? <laughs> if I was looking at it, I could do it. Let me. You know what? Let me just oh. do this. Yeah, I'll look it. at it. <laughs> okay. One and, more time, and then I. Okay, give me a second here. <clears throat> See, this is how my interviews go. Not professional. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> there we go. Barangari <laughs> kutirimikwaro. Ah, that was so much better, but I'm, uh, it's Larry Cuta. Oh, well, that explains it. You can, you can roll your R if you like, Larry Cuta. So yeah, I'm cute. Thank you. Uh, you might be <laughs> well, you're, well, you're a Canadian. We're all cute. Um, so you're in uh, Montreal right now. Uh, you're just yes. resting up for the tour with uh, TSO? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it, it resting i wish i was but there's always so much to do when you leave for two months <laughs> yeah you know um, it, yeah i know talking to joel hoekstra a few times there's an east coast and there's a west coast band which one are you on this year correct i'm in the west coast west coast and what amount of preparation goes into rehearsing like did you guys are you finished rehearsing now or do you go back in because you don't start till november Right. Oh yeah, we definitely have two weeks of like pre-production rehearsals in uh, in Omaha, and but I mean most of us, you know, start getting ready as early as summertime. Wow, I remember yeah. seeing you, and I was so impressed. I got to tell you, it's one of those nostalgic <laughs> moments, and you probably know what I'm talking about, where your microphone didn't work, and I think I'll oh. have to get you one, and then you came out, and I think it was Philip uh, Brandon. That you did right. that serenade with that was that was amazing. I could admit there was. So Thank you. That yeah, that was. I mean, that's where the experience comes kicks in, right? Like you know, something goes wrong, you gotta just like you know, what 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 do we do? You can't you know. And I just I just it's all about having fun at the end of the day, right? We're on stage having the time of our lives. So it was just he was there, and I just I'm like you know what I feel like dancing, and yeah, and I was cool. Yeah, I remember that. That was uh, I was replacing Chloe Larry. She was. Uh, she was sick that day, so um, I think it, it was actually uh, a really great experience for me to be singing, you know, a, a different song that's not in my like wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So th that's the thing I remember that as well. That you just came in last minute, very last minute, and you did a great yeah. job. I think you won over a, a tremendous amount of fans. Oh. Now, how many years have you been in TSO? Yeah, that's going to be my ninth year this year. Wow crazy it goes so fast boom <laughs> did you yeah. ever work with um gabby Gonsakova? or was she gone by then gabby yeah um wait there's two gabby's i know two gabby's gabby gabby Gun. yeah gabby Gun. she goes by gabby Gun. yeah of course yeah no i never really worked with her but i we were in the same you know space wow yeah. and so when you got asked to join how did they get a hold of you? Was it through your music in Quebec with Eric Lapointe and and your and your solo stuff? Was that That's it, cool. or was it? Am I close, or was it just a? Yeah, actually, said? yeah, you were. I mean, it was it was all uh, from YouTube, um, but it's it's just a cute story because I I was on The Voice here in Quebec and um, right. I was a finalist and. And my husband is like my greatest supporter and he 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 encouraged me to you know put myself out there and right. i wasn't someone who liked to put myself out there so i went ahead and you know put a, a a few videos on youtube and um and when i asked the talent coordinator um in uh trans Orchestra, she actually told me yeah it was from youtube and uh, i thought that was pretty cool <laughs> how it worked out it's like why is my husband always right <laughs> well i can edit this out <laughs> can edit this out. You won't know. Um, so it was, many... I'll, I'll, never, I'll never forget that day, though, when I went on and and uh, when I went online to see who was who is Trans Siberian Orchestra. I was just like, wow. When I first heard about them, like I'm from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, 
and they always play a bunch of shows in Auburn Hills and Clarkston, Michigan. And I'm like, who is this TSO? I thought it was a real orchestra, like an orchestra of people at least 72 years old and with these oboes. And then when I found out Joel Holker was in it, I did some more research and I was like, wow. I mean, that's, it's such a production. Like, when Oh, you, yeah. What do you think the, uh, I asked the weirdest questions, but what do you think um, it, it's to produce that show? A half a million dollars easily? Like with the set, the lights? Like, I, I, I don't mean, know. It's, it's got to be because this this is like the biggest rock and roll production ever. Like, I mean, it, it's, the, you know, there's, I, I still can't believe it, but it's so beautiful. There's the, the lights and the fire and the video effects. And it just, and every year it gets bigger and bigger and better, you know? So I'm sure, but I wouldn't, I mean, I would, I'm sure it's, it's, it's that much. Yeah. It, it must make a kiss performance look small now. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. And, and it's, it, yeah. Like I always tell people like, it's, it's a different show than anything you've ever seen. Like it's, I mean, anybody who comes to see it for the first time will be blown away. That's, that's for certain, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's incredible. And this year is, uh, I've never actually done this show, but this year we're doing a new version of, uh, the lost Christmas Eve. Right, right, right. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun for me because I've never had, I've never done this, uh, this tour, the lost Christmas Eve. So it's going to be pretty cool. I'm really excited for that. Wow. Is there any other Canucks, um, uh, as musicians in, in the uh, show? That you know of any Canadians? No, there used to be Lisa Lavi. She was from Montreal. She yeah. was East Coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that when I first started. Um, but no. So you're yeah. the you're, you're you're the token Canadian. <laughs> I'm the lucky one. Yeah, I feel so sure. grateful, so grateful, so grateful, and um, so humbled to be. You know, it's it's a it's it's an incredible feeling to be surrounded with so much talent on right, that stage. Right. Um, yeah. so you do a run, you, you guys run right through till the end of December, correct? Starting what, November 18th or 8th, something like that? Right. Yeah. I, our, our show on the, on the West coast starts, uh, we begin November 13th. Okay. So it's six it weeks, uh, you know, and like maybe 47, 46, give or take a few shows here and there. Uh, we, every year it kind of either, yeah, we do that in about six weeks. So it's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> And yeah. then, then, then you were, um, you were recruited. Oh, th this is the funniest part. I didn't even know this. Um, you didn't know who Vixen yeah. was, or, or you hadn't heard no. of Vixen. <laughs> I don't know who a lot of people are. <laughs> no. Wow. It's funny because I don't really have a, a, a hard a hard background. Like, and on in on honesty, like when I went on The Voice, I, I wanted to sing like a pop rock song, and then, um, you know, I remember Paul O'Neill used to tell me, give me that whiskey dust, you know, my rasp. And so it just kind of evolved after that. And then I just keep singing rock songs and I love singing rock, but there, I'm, I've met a lot of people this summer, uh, bands and uh, singers and musicians who I had no clue who they were. <laughs> it's really funny, but it's okay. But I had no idea who Vixen was, but when I, again, I went online and I was quick enough to, you know, Google and YouTube it. And I was like blown away. I don't have any sisters and I just gained three sisters and I'm ha I had the time of my life this summer. So what's it like on the road with, um, with Roxy, Julia and Brit? Is it like a big party or, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm not a big party person, but I can't say too much because you know how it goes, what goes on the road, what goes on the road, what goes on on the road stays on the road. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, yeah. no, it's, we, we have a good time. We really connect and we bond and I mean, we exercise together. Uh, I, I'm really happy that everybody likes to stay fit and on stage. It's just, we're, I'm so drawn to them and it's like so natural and we just, you know, I see, I go back and look at some of our pictures and we're all smiles and we're just so happy to be playing music, you know, and, and yeah. just having fun. And you've got yeah. some solo music out as well. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, I was looking through, there's about three of them, but Untamed is your most recent one. And then you have an English one. Yes. How come there, how come there's no Italian one? The Italian population <laughs> isn't that That's big good, in Montreal. That's a good question. It's been a, yeah, absolutely. We have a big Italian community here. It's been requested uh, a few times, but I just haven't got to it. It's, uh, 
it's something, you know, I made through a few songs, but this this new album that I just released, Untamed, I did have some French songs. I kind of, all, I was almost about to, you know, like put an Italian song, but I wanted to keep it up. This is just my way of, I've been always um, traveling and having shows outside of Montreal. So I really wanted to touch back with my roots and just kind of gift Montreal, you know, and uh, an album and, and like, I'm still here. <laughs> and so I kind of... Um, you know, I, I did two original songs and the rest were covers of French and English songs of like my favorite artists and women who inspired me throughout my career. Name a few of those. Then. Oh, well, definitely my number one is Melissa Etheridge. Oh, um, yes, I knew Alanis that. Yeah. Morissette. Yeah, yeah, Alanis Morissette, Heart. Um, and there's a French Canadian singer here who's called Marjo, um, which is also part of my upbringing and just... Um, yeah, but Melissa is just the biggest one. Um, but I had I like, a lot of fun. And also um, Alana Miles. Yes, 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 for yeah. sure. I yeah. like I I like to meet Sue. And, and meet Sue. Meet Sue. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, right on. Oh, boy. Oh, cow, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, there's a few of them, actually. Um, yeah, bye, bye. Yeah. You, you could probably sing. So what's your oh, off cool range? You know me too. What's your octave range? I'm um, definitely soprano. I think I know I'm not a soprano. I, I mean, I could, I could. I, I, I have a, a very low, all very high. I'm a, I'm a, I just, I just play and say I'm a belter. You know, I just belt mm -hmm. all the time. <laughs> I can you, go up there. Have you yeah. broken any glasses? <laughs> no. <laughs> no <laughs> to, get really. that, to get that high, no, that only a few. But if you. A few ceilings, though. <laughs> right. You yeah. Know, back in the good old days, when you're when you're on fire and you want to just grab onto anything, and then the whole ceiling came down. <laughs> you're not you're not serious That's about the chandeliers, are you? You're not, you're not. There you go. So, what else to be? Have you? Um, is there any um, vixen music going to be written, or any? Um, are they getting ready for uh, touring for next year? Are you doing anything like the Monsters of Rock cruises, Mark? Or absolutely, yeah. The dates have already begun to come in, and um, we're definitely on the Monsters of Rock cruise. I'm really excited for that. I've always wanted to be, um, you know, doing that gig. And um, yeah, there there is talk about some new stuff coming. Absolutely. Right on. Well, yeah. I don't want to keep you much longer. You've been very gracious. I want to thank Kenny Kaplan for setting this up. Where yes. can be people go to? Um, to uh, get your merch, make you richer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ernest. <laughs> um, definitely my website, rosalaricuta.com. And I'm all over social media as well. Instagram and um, what is it? TikTok and Facebook. And yeah, it's easy to find me. Just, you know, Larry Squita, Larry, Larry something. You'll see Rosa Larry <laughs> pop up somewhere. <laughs> yeah. No, not Larry Mole. All right, I want to thank you. I've got a couple cliche questions for you, Rosa. Favorite Canadian uh, musician or band? Well, actually, you know what? Since you're Canadian, I usually ask my American uh, uh, interviewees, favorite band or, or musician of all time outside of Canada? <clears throat> outside of Canada? Yeah. Oh, that, these are hard to answer. There's always a few, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with... Um... Uh, I'm gonna go with um, ah, it's so hard. Tina Turner. Oh, okay, right on. Tina Turner for sure. And what's what's the opposite of unsubscribe? Subscribe. Everybody do <laughs> as Rosa says and subscribe to this channel for these great interviews. <laughs> subscribe. Once... Oh, that was great. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the bumper. Thank you. Uh, thank, thanks so much, Rosa. When I get done editing this, I'll send this to Kenny and I sent to you, and hopefully you can share it for, for us. And um, are you going to be doing the Grand Rapids show, or is um, that too far east? I think it's east, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll have to find out where. You know, we get new dates all the time, like at cities, and and I honestly I haven't had a time to even look at the schedule because I'm I'm still trying to pack in my head. So <laughs> I'm thinking yeah. about clothes and what am I bringing, and yeah, I'm going through my songs, and so the cities are. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It's a good question. I think it's, I think it's east. I'm yeah, I think it I'm is not, too. Yeah, don't quote me it's on that. Pretty pretty close to Detroit. So, anyways, yeah. I, I look forward to seeing you on the road. Maybe if I um, 
you know, take the wrong exit, I'll end up in the in the West Coast and see it one of the shows. Please do. We'd love to see you. We'd love to have you. All right. Thanks, Rosa. Rock on. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks take so care. much. I'll